everyone, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace, and I wanted to wish you a happy Advent. Today is the first Sunday of Advent, and that's why I have my first candle lit. And I wanted to go over a couple um, prayer ideas or prayer rituals you can do during Advent. First, I want to tell you what Advent actually is. The word Advent means coming. So Advent really has kind of two meanings. The um, original um, coming of Jesus was when he came as a baby and um, he was the Word made flesh, the incarnation of God as a baby initially. Um, that's what we celebrate on Christmas Day, Jesus' birthday, coming into the world. The second part of Advent is Jesus' second coming, and that comes as the judge in the end of the world to bring all of his people back home. We all need to be preparing for Jesus' second coming, whether um, we meet Jesus uh, when we die or when um, the end of the world happens and Jesus shows up and we want to be ready. So um, that's really what Advent is about, is about preparing for Jesus' coming, first as a baby and second, the second coming. So we want to be ready for that. And I want to go over a couple free resources that you can use during the Advent season. Depending on when you're watching this, you can get in on this anytime during Advent. Um, so if you go to Catholic Radio Indy, Catholic Radio Indy, there is a really cool resource I noticed on their website today. And it, the resource is actually put together by the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. And in one of my previous videos, and I'll put the link to that uh, previous video below. I went through some various prayer aids, and I have the, the, the wreath that I use, my Advent wreath. I have a Jesse tree, and then I also have a calendar. And so, um, conveniently, the Archdiocese of Indianapolis has put together a great resource with a Jesse tree that you can print off um, the ornaments. It has all the readings. And then it also has, um, this is on Catholic Radio Indy, so catholicradioindy.org. Uh, you can get this resource. And then there's also, in addition to the Jesse Tree activity, there is an Advent Bible study. And that is something that I plan to be doing um, this Advent. And along with the Bible study, they talk about how to do Lexio Divina which is an ancient way to read and pray through scripture. And there's a, a description of how to do that. It has instructions and everything. So what you want to do is you want to go to catholicradioindy.org. There'll be over on the right, it'll be a purple um, thing about Advent or preparing for Christmas joy. Click on that, and then there's a PDF. You can download it. It's free, and I just think that that would be a really super... So you want to go to catholicradioindy.org to get these, the Jesse Tree activity and the Advent Bible study during the Advent season. And then also want to mention the um, Advent Gospel Reflections. You can go to wordonfire.org. And I'm pretty sure you can get an email push and you could probably order this book um, or your parish might actually have it in the back of church. So just take a look there. Now I wanted to go, um, if you haven't got a copy of my book, um, Breaking New Ground, Discipleship Using New Media, that book is really, really important right now because as we are doing more and more things digitally and really having to reach out to our um, family and our friends and those that we're discipling, this book is a really great um, tool to do that. And I actually, I think it's chapter, I can't remember. Chapter eight is tips for digital discipleship. So I go through um, some very specific tips on how to uh, do digital discipleship. But really, that's what the whole book's about. And I do talk about my conversion story. Um, I grew up Catholic, but I had a conversion um, in my early 20s, which really kind of catapulted me into doing a lot more evangelization work. All right, and there is another resource that I want to mention to you. I, as you know, I work for Catholic Radio Indy, and I interview 
lots of people and this book I thought was really great it's called on my way and the reason I bring this up during Advent is because during Advent is kind of a time to prepare for Jesus coming and this book helps you kind of take an inventory a spiritual inventory of where you're at so this says uh, on my way many of us say we are Christians but do we really know where we stand in our relationship with Christ and so that's what this book does um, and you can get this on I believe you can get this on Amazon it's a great book and I highly recommend it so this was really helpful for me and it 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 really is about where you are at on these circles so obviously you want to be there is like union with Christ and so um, each of the chapters talks about these various circles and how that relates to your relationship with God and how do you live that out so again this is a really great resource um, and I'll be talking about this is a book I'm reading activated disciples the activated disciple this is um, how to take your faith to the next level um, Jeff Cavins I've interviewed him a couple times um, throughout my career recently uh, interviewed him when he came to town and interviewed him for a print story back in the day he's hilarious read a lot of his books and uh, so I'm just a little bit into this one so this is what I'm going to be doing during my spiritual reading um, in addition to some of these other things so I hope that's been helpful I'll, I'll come back and talk about this when I'm done with it and maybe uh, maybe I'll even interview Jeff Cavins um, for my show sometime oh and I want to look at my notes over here oh yeah two other things I wanted to mention uh, on catholicradioindy.org another resource is they have just put on their website a Spanish resource radio and TV so if you know of any Spanish speakers uh, all you do is go to catholicradioindy.org and then there's it says like hablo, habla espanol or habla something I forget what it says but it says it in Spanish and it's basically Spanish radio and television 24 7 and so if you know anyone that speaks Spanish and that's looking for good Catholic uh, programming just go to catholicradioindy.org it's right on their homepage it's right on the right hand side and um, I can't remember what it says but it says something in Spanish like do you speak Spanish I think is what it says um, and then the other thing oh yeah one other thing is that I have a blog it's called allaboutthegrace.com on that blog I have two other resources I have um, a previous interview that I did on getting ready for Advent and various uh, ways you can build up your domestic church so if you go to the blog you can find that there so go to allaboutthegrace.com that's another free resource and that's really a, a free resource anytime if you're interested in um, growing in your faith and um, sharing it with others so thank you so much uh, if you haven't clicked subscribe please do click subscribe I do want to thank all my subscribers I'm over 200 now which is really awesome so um, thank you so much for subscribing and I hope that you get something um, that can help you grow in your spirituality so until next time God bless